Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Now, I'm on my way to my old man's. I'm going to be changing out of these crease clothes because I'm going to be doing the cam belt on the Civic. Pretty big job. Cam belt, timing belt, whatever you want to call it, same thing. I don't know if it needs doing because there's no documentation, there's no paperwork, there's no mileage stamp, there's no date stamp, there's nothing on this car in its history or anything to tell me whether or not it needs a timing belt slash cam belt doing but I'm going to be doing it anyway so this is going to be basically a how to a walkthrough of how to install a timing belt next time you see me this is going to be in bits so because I just want to I just want to get on with it I just want to jump into it get it all sorted get it done as quickly as possible so yeah hopefully I'm going to be able to walk you through what to do on a B16A any B16, B18, H22 they're all very 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 similar um, so this is going to be a how to do a timing belt on those motors basically but yeah the timing belt kit that i bought for this i say a kit it was just a belt and a timing belt tensioner um gates belt and a koyo bearing i would recommend those um deco are also a very good belt manufacturer i got both those items for 60 pounds it's normally the labor that kills you on a timing belt when you do take it to a garage you know it's, it's four or five hours sometimes it's a lot less than four hours but yeah Fingers crossed it's less than four hours. But yeah, so I'm gonna go to my old man's now. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Bye for now. So we've got the rocker cover off, we've got the timing marks aligned on the two camshaft gears. We've then got the power steering pump off, and we've loosened the aircon pipe pinch so that we can lift it up and get it out of the way. We've also moved that shit guard, undone the, the crank pulley bolt there, um, taken the alternator belt off as well, loosened the alternator off and taken that belt off. So the power steering belt and the alternator belt hung over the wing mirror so that we remember the direction of the belt that it was on the uh, pulleys so next is to get the timing belt off So we've got these two markers lined up, as you can see, bang in the middle of the screen. It's slightly off centre is the camera, but they are lined up if you look at it centrally. And on the bottom pulley, you can see, try and get it square, go, square. So you can see this mark here on the crank pulley and this mark here on the block casing is lined up perfectly so that we know that the timing belt is in the right position as it should be because this is the old one and it's still on. But now when we're taking this one off, putting the new one on we know that these marks and the top marks that you saw earlier were all lined up mint where they should be and to get that there what we did was as we put the wheel on this hub that wheel was kept stationary and we rotated this wheel while it was in fifth gear to get the position of the engine where we wanted it to be So we've had to take off the aircon and the aircon mounting bracket because that there, a little bit broken, it's not, it's got aircon obviously this car but it's never worked from when I've had it and we know why, it's because the tension, tension has failed and it never had a belt on and that's why the tension has failed because that's, that's knackered. And then we've also noticed that this torque mount is proper fucked. So we are having just a little bit of trouble with that bracket that holds the uh, AC on in that, we can't get it out. That bit of metal, this is the old belt, you can see 
Give it to say uh, genuine Honda belt. Should be able to take that. Yeah. It doesn't look too bad actually. There's no like cracks in it or anything. Looks like it was done fairly recently. But the car had no history for the belt being done. That's safe and then sorry. Two thousand years later. So we've just rotated the engine as you can see just there with both of the tips of the teeth, the markings on the side of the teeth meet up perfectly. You can see that that mark there, if we could get it level, there you go, you can see it meets the uh, mark on the block perfectly on the crank pulley there. It's been rotated, one full rotation. So we've rotated the engine once more, all the timing marks on the gears are all perfectly aligned with the, the deck of the cylinder head if you like. We're now going to rotate the belt if you like on the tension so that that can um, be released and then create more tension on the belt and to do that we move it three teeth in its normal rotation direction, the engine. With a, that's it. Now the belt's all nice and tight, we're now going to run through the tappets to make sure that the valves are opening uh, the correct duration every every time that they engage basically, making sure that we've not got any horrible tap noises, tappy 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 noises. So we've got cylinder number one top dead centre now and what we're going to be doing is doing the clearances for cylinder one intake and exhaust, intake for number two and exhaust for number three. They're all the ones that aren't under tension now in relation to the cam shaft. Putting pressure on the rocker arm itself to open the valve. These are all rocking, if you like. So we're just doing the tolerances at the moment for the rocker arms using these feeler gauges. Um, for the B16A2, it's six thousandths of an inch for the intake and seven thousandths of an inch for the exhaust. The little test, if you like, that we did, we could actually fit nine thousandths in on the exhaust side. So, because we could get nine thousandths in, obviously it's two thou over tolerance. And uh, yeah, hopefully when we tighten it all up, we'll squeeze a few more horses out of it as well. So I've put this plastic cover on, these 10 millis, that one there, that one there, there's one up there. I've put this cover on here, this like washer if you like, um, there's the woodruff key to go in that bit there, like that, and then that slots into that there on the back of the uh, pulley. Pulley just goes on, like that. Then this will just go on finger tight for now and we'll torque it up to the correct torque. And the, uh, this is the washer itself, it's going in the same direction that it came off in. Yeah, it's finger tight. And we'll torque that up. So at this point the camera actually died. Very long day, long day to be recording, but we managed to get everything done. It was all done in quite a timely manner, I'd say. But yeah, everything got sorted, finished off, boxed off within, I'd say, about five hours, even with me like messing about recording and stuff like that. Um, so I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. It obviously helps. 
If you haven't done so already, then please subscribe. I'm going to be doing more work on the Civic. I'm hoping to do some sort of little video, getting all the costs and things like that together and keeping like a list of this budget build. But this was a timing belt that cost me £60 in total. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye for now.